Hello, happy holidays. This is 8 to 12 Cheerful Chats with Maddie Carver. Today I have with me Carly Lopez of Ignori Loomis. Hi, Carly. Hello, how are you? I'm good. Happy holidays. Same to you. Happy holidays. Are you feeling... I like your background, by the way. Oh, thank you. Yes, I'm, I'm, I'm outside right now. <laughs> <laughs> I'm in, I'm in a uh, winter... Twinkling Wonderland. Wonderland, yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Um, so are you feeling festive? Are you feeling the holiday spirit yet? I've been feeling the holiday spirit. I started decorating uh, November 1st because I took down all my Halloween stuff and I was ready for, for holidays, ready for the holiday season. Yes. Well, I was I was talking to um, your coworker. Jackie Mirkowski, and um, she was saying that, you know, because of what's going on, I think we're all just extra excited for the holidays. Like, we just can't wait for, you know, some some joyful experiences. I already feel like that. Um, I This is my favorite time of the year, but it, I feel, it, it, especially now, it's just so much, it, we need something. <laughs> something to look forward to, right? Mm-hmm. Yeah. And I, you know, I, I probably won't even get to see my parents or, or see my family, but I'll, you know, it's still going to be nice to just have something to, to be festive and, and have some, some eggnog and, you yeah, know, and play decorate some music the tree. Too. Yeah, exactly. Yes, exactly. Well, speaking of music, what's your favorite holiday song? Okay. So it's a tie between two, but they take the cake. Like they are the top two of any other Christmas song out there. And one is the, in sync acapella version of Oh Holy Night. And it's not really like too mainstream, but it's one of my favorite song, Christmas songs ever. And it's just so good. And I was a big fan of In Sync. So that's you know what? I love that song too. And I'm not even, I, I'm a new kids on the block fan because I'm old. <laughs> so I was never even really like an In Sync fan, but I do know what you're referring to. And I, it's beautiful. It's I a good, that. yeah. It's so really good. good. Yeah. And then my other one is. They, I don't think they play it on the radio anymore, but it's um, All I Want for Christmas is You by Mariah Carey with Justin Bieber. And it is like the best duet ever. It's so good. I don't know that one. I yeah, don't know I, that I think they stopped her. playing it. Yeah, I think they stopped playing it on the radio a couple years ago. But when it came out, it was all over the radio. And it was in the height of Justin Bieber era when he was really, really uh, popular. And that was just one of my favorite songs. They, they, their voices actually go really well together. So, okay, well, so one. I'm going to be looking that up. I can't wait. It's I'm, good. It's really good. I'm so excited. I, I mean, I, you know, when I come across like new Christmas music or holiday music that I like, then I'm just, I'm hooked. Um, it's good, yeah. Let me ask you, what's your favorite holiday recipe? So this is actually a newer one. Um, I think it was two or three Christmases ago. My, I went to my stepdad's for an early Christmas party or my stepdad's family side of family for an early Christmas party. And his sister made, um, she called them Christmas Cosmos and they're basically cranberry Cosmos. And I'd never had a Cosmo before and it quickly became my favorite drink. And now every year my mom makes them um, at Thanksgiving and Christmas. So it's the best holiday drink because I'm not really a eggnog fan or a milky drink alcohol drink fans so cranberry cosmos they're so good if your mom doesn't mind if she would send you the (laughs) recipe i would love to post that because i know there's a lot of folks that would like to know that recipe so absolutely i i don't remember all of it off the top of my head but i do know that there you put like frozen or fresh cranberries in the drink and it looks so pretty too and it looks so festive it's nice yum that sounds that sounds absolutely amazing um i i'm gonna like get off this call and go make one um, sh- I really do. um <laughs> so carly the last question i'm gonna ask you is what is your favorite holiday tradition so unfortunately this year we can't do it but my mom's side of the family she comes from um, a family of 12 so she has 11 brothers and sisters and christmas time is like the biggest gathering holiday for them because we don't really do Thanksgiving together with that side of the family but we do Christmas with them so all of my cousins I have like I don't even know 20 30 I don't know a large amount of cousins they're all there all my mom all my aunts and uncles are there and it's just really really fun and it sucks that we can't do it this year and I don't even think we're going to be able to do a zoom family Christmas because not everyone knows how to use 
computers. <laughs> so yeah. yeah, unfortunately, it's much scaled down this Christmas, and it's not as it's not the big Christmas that we're used to. But I'm still excited because Christmas is my favorite time of the year. But <laughs> Oh, so it's going to be a big, a big family Christmas 2021. We'll get through this and then you'll have that to look forward to. So, yeah. And we were on the list to host it. So that would have been us this year, but unfortunately we're not hosting it. So next year we're going to, if we can all gather safely, then it'll be at my house. (laughs) Oh, that's exciting. Oh, Carly. Well, it was so nice to talk to you, you know, Congratulations, all the best of luck to you on your new role with Ignari Loomis and um, happiest of holidays to you. Thank you, you too. I already uh, started my cannoli. (laughs) Oh, yummy. I'm I'm drinking my, uh, I'm drinking from, oh boy, you you can't see my mug out here in um, in the Winter Wonderland, but there there it is. (laughs) (laughs) All right, well, Carly, thank you so much. Happy holidays, love. Thank you, thank you, you too. Bye-bye.